Hello, my friend. Welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Sister Chic Lacquer Zuzu's Petals. I'm going to double stamp. Today, I'm starting off with American Classics Starting Over. It's for after artificials or gels. I got it at Sally's. I'll be using Revlon's Devil, Devil's Candy as a base just to, you know, make that jelly pop a little better and so I don't have to build up too many layers. You know how jelly polishes are. This is an oldie but a goodie. I've had it in my collection for a very long time. So I figured it resembled the jelly polish enough that it would be a good undie for it. So there we go with that first coat. We're going to cap that little bitty free edge there. So there we go. A little streaky, but you know, it's a base. And here is Sister Chic's Zuzu's Petals from her Christmas Classics collection. Oh, it's just so yummy. So here we go. We're going to try to get this camera to acting right. We're going to go in with a coat of Zuzu's Petals. It's just so squishy and yummy. Love it. Love this one. I know when I swatched these, this was the one that jumped out at me. <clears throat> Keeping that free edge and fighting with the glitters because, you know, that's just how glitter is. Hi, Woody. How you doing? So there we go. And I am going to go ahead and do a second coat of Zuzu's petals just to get a little more glitter and squishy going on on that nail. Actually, out of my nails. <laughs> Oh, it's just luscious. I love it. I'm going to top it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. It's a fast dry top coat. I want this to dry down real good so that I can do some double stamping today. I know, I'm kind of hooked on the double stamping. I just, you know, it's more playtime. Just, just, just to be honest, it's more. I love more. Golly, that's just beautiful. Love it. Today I'm going to be using this Messy Mansion plate number 20 and the Born Pretty Black Stamping Polish and Born Pretty's Gold. These don't have names or numbers. I'll be using my Monocle Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper. We're going to go in and stamp with black first. Wiggle, 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 get it down into that because this has got a lot of that um, like fat lines so it's you want to definitely not be stingy with the with the stamping polish on this. So there we go. And I can tell you in hindsight, I really regretted not putting some kind of barrier down, some kind of tape or liquid latex or something, because this was a mess to clean up. I mean, it was just hardcore messy. Doing another scrape. Here we go. Get that rose and squish it down. So there we go. I am cleaning off my stamper on a lint roller and I'm using a cotton ball with some acetone to clean that plate. And now we're going to go in with the gold and just kind of offset, go off to the side just a little bit over the previously stamped images done in black. Getting it lined up. There we go. Shazam! And I probably should have left a couple of nails empty, you know, without the stamping. But, you know, I always get carried away. Just so carried away. I, sometimes I just cannot help myself. But I can tell you, I love this manicure enough that I wore it for like five or six days. Of course, the holidays might have had something to do with it because, you know, we're all so busy during the holidays. Look at that hot mess. So, I'm going to try to clean up some of this with the tape. And I am able to get up a lot of it, but I still have to go in and do some cleaning. And this black stamping polish just got up in every little crack and nook and cranny. And did not want to come out. So I do have evidence of this on my swatch photo. <laughs> so 
There we go. And now I'm going to go in with some acetone and my cleanup brush and just do the best I can. I'm sorry I'm out of frame. The girl has issues. She can't stay in frame to save her life. There we go. A little bit. I'm, I'm almost there. <laughs> but I really was looking forward to wearing Zuzu's petals, and I'm glad I got a chance to do that. I still want to do more manicures with the other polishes from this collection because they were all just gorgeous. I will leave a link down below for Miss Debbie's store so you can go check out the Sister Chick Lacca. So there we go. Got us as cleaned up as we're going to get it. I'm going to use the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat to seal in that stamping without smearing it. That stupid camera just will not behave today. You're just going to have to take my word for it. That's the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. There we go. Thankfully, this is in focus. Um, I probably didn't really need this with the gold and the black. They're not notorious for smearing anyway. But, you know. I used it anyway. And now I'm going to add some top coat. And I am, of course, I'm using my posh top coat for this part. Capping that free edge. Sealing it in. So there we go. So that is my manicure. I do have a swatch photo coming up. Ta-da! And uh, I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.